I guess I'm just gonna go put this to the ultimate test. There's a Black Widow in here. I may die. I may not. I'm so confident about this. Like, I'm right here in front of the Black Widow. Let's see if you attack. Hi, my name is KK, and today we are going to take on the three super mixers in the upper yard. I actually don't know why I decided I wanted to record, record right now, because I am only going to be on for like an hour, so I don't think I'll be able to get everything done. If I do get all three super mixers done within an hour, that'd be awesome. But I have been kind of on the grind. I went and gathered a whole bunch of mushrooms, because that is going to be like my main defense. I'm just going to do a couple walls of mushroom bricks around the mixers, so we are... Almost at a full large storage chest. But we definitely have a lot of slurry we can go through. But I'm not concerned about it because I'm definitely not going to need this much. Um, I don't think. Although I won't be dismantling them like I have in the past. Because I'll just leave them up for New Game Plus. I'm assuming they're going to be active in New Game Plus. So let's go ahead and take a whole row of these. Yeah, I think that's fine. And this is really all we're gonna need for the first two super mixers because they're relatively easy. They just have the fire ants, both soldiers and worker ants, as well as uh, roly polies. Unfortunately, I have been a bit low on the muscle sprouts, so I am using some regular soothing syrups for this. I think it'll be fine. I do also have fiber bandages. I'm like, I don't think I'm that concerned about the first two super mixers specifically. Mutation set I'm going with, oh, wrong one. Uh, we're going to keep on buff longs because we're going to be using the mint mace and we want to be able to have as much stamina as possible. Critical grass, of course, for the critical hits. Ant annihilator because, like I said, a lot of fire ants, guard dog, and sour sensation. These are considered defense events, so guard dog does work for the mixers. I was really tempted to try the ant bastard mutation just to see how that would work, but right now this mutation is broken. I, I was walking around some red soldier ants with that equipped and they were still just coming at me and it was annoying. Also, like I said, Mint Mace and I am gonna be using the Mother Demon set so I can have Venom so they can take some damage over time if I'm not paying attention to them. And then we're gonna be using the Suspicious Mints. Goal is to take out ants as fast as possible so that way we can focus on roly polies. And that is pretty much gonna be the first two. I'm not gonna do any floors. Oh, you know what, I should do spikes. So the ash cement and the wooden splinters are gonna be what limits me here. I could do about 40 of them, which is more than enough. Also wanna make sure to have the ant queen repair tool since this does an area instead of one at a time. And I wanna make sure this is repaired and ready to go. So I just got enough to make 20 of them. I, I feel like that will be enough. I don't even think I'll be doing all 20 of them. And I also did a bit of rearranging in here. I moved stuff side to side just because I needed to make more of these machines so I can grind down some uh, mushroom, was it mus mushroom slurry a little bit faster than I was able to before. And then it just kind of made sense to move everything down. And then I've got some extra storage going up there. Still have a lot to do in there because my storage is being really compounded into these little chests and I just, I really need to just kind of bite down and get it done and get everything organized. It's kind of organized in there, but it's like, it's, it's just getting really tight. And I've got all that space in there to expand. So I do have this first mixer marked right over here and I learned something brand new today, new to me at least. Uh, you can actually deactivate stuff from your HUD. So like this thing that I said is gonna bother me because it's always lit up. If you look over to the left side of the screen, you can toggle HUD marker. So right now it's visible and you see it right there. And then you come back over here and you can turn it off and it's gone. Wish I would have learned that sooner. Um, my marker just disappeared, like right in front of me. Why did that happen? I did not select to clear it. I was still in the middle of running. So right now where my mind is at is that I am really confident about this, that I think the majority of the time playing is actually gonna be building. My confidence level is a little too high, probably shouldn't be. Isn't really what I want to deal with while I'm building. This is my third interruption.
Okay, so I built this kind of quick. I really don't know if three layers will be enough for the fire ants and the roly polies, but I am honestly willing to risk it because I just want to get to the fighting. Um, oh, you know what? I forgot, excuse you, that I did end up damaging the corner of the wall over here with my finale aftershock. And now we're ready. And I do have these three walls not completely built so that I can just run out and then build them on my way out. But let us go. Make sure to switch mutations. Oh, almost forgot to put you on. All right, so they did already break through one wall. It's fine, I should have enough time to rebuild it. And then put you on. And I see that they are now coming from all directions. Ooh, big old group of them. I love that they're bunched up like that because that makes that finale aftershock do some work. So any more repairs? Yeah, okay. Okay. Am I uh, doing a little too good for this right now? Like, where's all the enemies at? Threat detected? Yet? Yet? I hear you. There you are. Why are you attacking the grass? Ah, the roly polies are here. Not good. I really hate that if you knock them out of that state, they're still healing. I feel like the majority of the damage to these walls right now, I'm actually doing. Alright, and we are done with that mixer. That really was not bad at all. I initially expected worse, but whenever I got to thinking about it, it really didn't seem much of a concern at all. And I'm pretty sure the next one is the same lineup with the soldier ants. Oh god, I am stuck in here now. With the soldier ants and um, worker ants and roly polies. So I feel like it's going to be just as easy. I just realized I also forgot to build the wooden spikes. Well, got everything cleaned up, got all the parts I could get. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna leave this here. Normally I would tear it down and take the bricks with me, but I do need to head back and grab more bricks as well as clear out all this inventory I have. And I guess fight more ants. I actually wanna see if these soldier ants still react to me after seeing all that. They don't. Okay, that's weird. I was playing on cloud on my phone when that was happening. I don't know if maybe it's like a cloud glitch, something isn't syncing right. I'm actually not even gonna bring this stuff to make these spikes uh, since I didn't even need them on the first one. I uh, can just save all of that for the very last super mixer, which will be an issue, I'm pretty sure. So the problem with this mixer is the fact that it's so close to the fire ant hill that anything not coming from the raid, like if there's any fire ants nearby, they will also start to attack me because I am killing their kin. But I am going to build around this one just the same as I did the last one. I may do a fourth layer, depending on how I feel. I may just do like a shallow fourth layer, like not too high. Seem to be getting my starting point wrong every time. I think we got it this time. No. Yeah, and this one, now that I think about it, is actually a little easier to defend because you don't have wide open spaces on all four sides. Okie dokie. Are you not going to attack me? What are you doing? I can't do anything while you're aggro, but you won't come fight me, so I can't hit you. Okay. That ladybird didn't even try to attack me either. Uh, did I unlock some kind of secret where they left me alone? Hope I didn't accidentally change my settings. Nope, not on a custom game, we're still on WoW. I don't know what's going on right now, but maybe I can benefit from this glitch. Oh, you again. Come on, come fight me. Come fight me. Come fight me. Come fight me. Still did not even try to attack me a single time. And you're probably just gonna stay up there and do the same thing. All right, so I do have a fourth wall around here where it's just kind of just blocking the lower level. I'm, again, not concerned about this one. I feel like it's gonna be a little too easy, but I am still just having this weird issue and I'm gonna run out here and fight something. 
they're just not attacking me. They're getting aggro, but it's like they just continue to back away. Let's see about this ladybug's the same. Same exact situation. I've never seen this before. Okie dokie. Just getting everything set up. We're just gonna hop in here and do this and see if any of them want to attack me. Oh man, I left that one wall open. Oh, y'all got here fast. Oh, you're coming after the lean-to I put here a long time ago. Pretty sure the majority of this damage is from me again. And for some reason, the enemies keep getting stuck out here on this side. Ouch. First bit of damage I took. Uh, it's probably not even because they're focused on me. I think this is one of the craziest things I've experienced. Like, nobody wants to attack me. What you got? What you got? Nothing. Nothing. I don't even know how to utilize this properly. Ow! Are y'all attacking me now? Oh, y'all are attacking each other. I just happen to be getting a hit. Well, I mean, I guess I'm just gonna go put this to the ultimate test. There's a Black Widow in here. I may die. I may not. Let's see if you attack. Nothing. What? Ah, uh, what? I wish I knew how to how I made this happen. I'm so confident about this. Like, I'm right here in front of the Black Widow looking at my mutations because I'm just going to set this up for farming. Oh, I don't have my gum nugget with me. Ooh, no venom from that. I'm really curious if it's the same thing with the bosses right now. Like, could I farm the wasp queen? Could I go summon and kill the infected brew mother without it fighting me back? Oh man. Wasp, okay. Definitely not what I wanted to deal with right now. I don't even think I have a mutation set up for these guys at the moment. Oh, this is not good. I was not prepared for this. Ow, you attacked me. Oh, y'all are doing some serious damage. I do not have the base set up for this. I have been doing my best to avoid a fight with the wasps here uh, to be raided by them, but I was not paying attention. And this so happens to suck. Yeah, so this uh, glitch I've got going on is really hurting me in this fight because they're not focusing on me at all, which is making it really hard for me to take them out. And they are going to do some severe damage to my base because, like, I don't have a bow build. Yeah, and this just isn't enough damage. <sighs> that... Oh my god, they did so much. Alright, this was the worst time to experience a raid. Because they couldn't focus on me. I did so well up until now of successfully avoiding the wasp raid. I guess all my time grinding, I didn't really pay much attention to how much time had passed. I'm missing roofs. Oh, there's still pieces up there I didn't collect. Staircases are gone. One of them was in here. I'm sure you saw that. Oh, look at all of it. Very poor timing for a wasp raid. But I mean, I guess at least I finally got that raid out of the way that I have been avoiding. Which I have been avoiding for a long time. <laughs> I have done that very successfully until now. Welcome back. It is now next day for me, not for you. Unless you happen to pause this video at exactly the right time. In which case I applaud you because that is actually really awesome. So uh, we are going to move on to the last super mixer. And I am going to need some of this stuff to make burr floors. I don't know how many I want. This super mixer is the one I'm the most worried about. Which is why I want to make sure I do actually get the spikes down. Which I forgot to do on the first one. Intentionally avoided on the second one because I didn't even need them on the first one. And it's pretty much the same loadout for the second one. Oh, right, uh, I had a glitch happening last time. I don't know if that's still in effect or if 
me logging out and reloading has fixed that issue. I'm gonna test that out on this ladybug that seems like it's currently stuck in the ground. It looks like you just tried to attack. Oh, you broke my spike. Ouch, okay, so they're attacking. Probably could have blocked on that one instead of just letting it actually hit me. Yeah, so they're attacking now. I don't know how I made that glitch happen. I have an assumption, excuse you. So I may try and test it out after this video to see if I can figure out how to activate that glitch again. Could be useful. But anyway, so this last super mixer, uh, we have ticks and tiger mosquitoes and green shield bug. Uh, but for our loadout setup, we did take off uh, sour sensation from the last two and we just put on blade master blade master is actually going to be very useful to us we're going to use it with our sword for the ticks and it'll also help with the mosquitoes but specifically because of the effects here uh, where it lowers the damage dealt by enemies it doesn't say towards a player so i feel like that also means structures and buildings or anything they attack they're doing less attack to it so i feel like that's going to be very beneficial in this situation oh i can take ant annihilator off it gives me another one I think I'll just put sour sensation back on. Sensation. Sour sensation back on. I think that is the best option. Also, tiger mosquitoes are weak against fresh damage, so I will be using this if I'm just taking out tiger mosquitoes. If it's a mix of tigers and tigers, mosquitoes and ticks, it will be the sword just because I can kind of swing it around and take out both of those. And then the green shield bug is also weak to mint, so I'll be obviously switching back to the mint mallet for that as far as building around these two it's going to be similar to the first two super mixers to start but of course i have to cap it off so here we are right now i do have three layers i am going to end up doing a fourth potentially we shall see but right here we got the mixer enclosed and this is where things start to get a little bit fun so we're now going to take these half walls and we're going to grid it out like this then we're just gonna repeat it. And what that does is allows you to create a little grid like this. You can actually complete it now, uh, since I added in these little pieces. Just go like that. You can fill in all the blanks around the wall. But I don't think that's necessary, and it's also kind of a waste because these aren't as strong and they still utilize two compared to these, which I think I'm already gonna end up needing to go back to get more. Oh yeah, I'm down to 12. Definitely I'm gonna have to go back and grab more, which is fine. But on top of this, we are gonna do another burr floor. And basically we're creating a lot that they have to destroy just to get in here. And now we must run back and grab some more mushroom bricks. I think I'm also gonna grab some more burr and lint rope to make some more of the burr floors. Cause so I think I do want a third layer above all that. Oh, I already forgot how much got destroyed in that raid. And also went ahead and grabbed some more beefy smoothies or made some beefy smoothies just because I am a little more worried about this super mixer compared to the other two. And I just put those in the food spot for now since I haven't been carrying food around since I've just been rocking the everlasting hog stopper. Which speaking of the hog stopper, I should have gotten a different trinket. The suspicious mint will help when I'm using the mint mallet, but it's not gonna do any benefit whenever I'm fighting the ticks or if I'm just using the sword in general. Yeah, maybe it'll be fine. We'll see how I feel. I do have this third layer just attaching to the wall here. I, th I think that's going to be fine, but what I am going to do is uh, kind of back it up and do one right here. And then between these, the second and third layer, I'm going to do a bunch of these half walls. Also, I'm not so worried about the backside. Uh, they may wrap around there, but I may end up blocking it off anyway since I have the staircase here and it's weak. I don't really want it to get broken because this is going to be my way to get up top to fight the mosquitoes. So we'll just do the two sides and we are gonna do the half walls all the way up. Again, these are here to just be uh, points that distract them that they can focus on to destroy. Uh, well, I ran out of mushroom bricks. That really sucks. So I need a lot more because, hmm, I may not need a lot more. I may not go ahead with a fourth layer. What it may do is just a low layer all the way around. Then do spikes, and then spikes inside that, and then spikes up here. And we're heading back with a, a whole new load of goods because I ran out. The only reason I'm being as meticulous with building this as I am is one, mosquitoes suck. Uh, everybody knows that. They're pretty much the worst enemy in the game. I still consider them to be worse than the wasp. Kind of. 
wasps are annoying and they did just destroy my base. So yeah, you know, it's a toss up. And also I'm kind of future preparing for the new game plus. If you do mixtures in that, I don't know. But if you do, I am going to be prepared for it. For the outside of this layer underneath, I am going to put some grass floors here in case the floor above gets destroyed, just so I don't end up falling through and getting trapped between my walls, because that would not be fun. And then I am going to do a floor on top of this layer as well. And now, of course, the floors. Don't know why I said it like that, but I am sticking with it. And it's finished! Uh, line this sucker with spikes. Got some out here, got some right there, got some on the walls, got some on the top. Got one over there in case they decide they want to try and slip through there. And then I put a wall behind it because I can jump over it. Whee! Yeah, nah, just, just because. I don't feel like they will. I don't think they come this way. Like, I do know they come from this side, but I don't think they try and go behind it. And I had some extra grass planks and weed stems, so I just threw some extra walls. I did go a little crazy on the mushroom bricks I bought, I brought for the third time. You know, if only I did that the first time, I wouldn't have to go back and get to get more. But uh, yeah, so if it turns out I need more, I have more. But of course, I may be using some to replace some walls if I get a break in here. And I also have the three walls back here I left open so I can go, excuse you, I'm stuck. Activate the mixer and then come out, which I need to place those. And this is the view from up top. Maybe should have brought something to build a turret. That could have been pretty fun. But there's quite a few layers to get through. Uh, my main concern, again, is the mosquitoes. The ticks or whatever, I feel like I can take them out pretty easily. Although they're pretty small and I may not see them attacking somewhere. And I forgot to grab a different trinket, so I am just going to go ahead and rock this one for now. I do have my gas mask and my mask of the mother demon on the bar so I can switch quickly. And of course, my two weapons that I'm going to be switching between. I'm not sure what comes first. I'm really hoping those don't try and come this way because that could ruin my day. And mutation, almost forgot to put that on. Who's coming first? There's a random grass plank way over there. Anybody? Oh, well, so far so good. We're doing a fantastic job at the beginning of this one. Aha, I see y'all coming. I like how y'all are going for these grass walls first. That's awesome. There's quite a few of them attacking my makeshift staircase over there. I'm not too worried about that. Uh, but I should probably just go ahead and push them. Just so I don't have to worry about them stacking with the next wave. Oh man, but there are other enemies out here that could try and attack me. Their tiny bodies do kind of like pose an issue. Like, when the ants were stacked up like this, it was just easy to, like, wipe them all out. Didn't think it would be coming from this side. That's why I didn't put any spikes back here. Some repairs going. I have a little bit of time right now. Am I repairing? No, I don't think I can repair what's not seen. But it's fine. We're actually holding up really well. I do kind of wish I would have put the staircase on this side, though. Because going up and down is a little bit of a long walk. Oh, quite a few mosquitoes in here now. Uh, I hear the green shield bug. This is what the mask is for. Whoa, what's the green shield bug doing way up there? Oh. Ow. Wait, where'd you go? Uh-oh, they're kind of breaking through right now. I'm also helping them. All right, you're what I want. I'm stuck. All right. All right, cool, we completed it. Guard dog three out of three. That's awesome, yeah, y'all get out of here. Y'all don't want none of this. All right, so we got a little scary there at the end uh, because they started doing some significant damage through here. Still solid though. I am going to repair everything in this area uh, just in case, so I don't have to worry about it later. You know, or I could be wasting my time, but I mean, if I am uh, having these repaired, I can just come break them down if I need bricks in a hurry. You know, this ant queen repair tool, though, is awesome. It's so much easier to, like, keep up with stuff like this because you're not trying to repair one thing at a time. 
It is a little annoying that you can't repair stuff like behind something else like these half walls I have through here. I can't repair those. Well, my repair tool just broke. I completely fixed that right before I came out here, but that's fine. I will just re re fi refix it. I will refix it. That is what I was trying to say. And having guard dog up to level three is going to be a big deal for us whenever we uh, get to doing the in beginning thing, whatever the heck the thing's called, the Javamatic. So uh, like I said, that is the last mixer. I don't actually, I don't know if I said that, but I am saying it now. That is the last mixer. Uh, that is all seven mixers in the yard, all three super mixers. You leave me alone, please. I don't want to fight anybody else. Before they so rudely interrupted, what I was trying to get to was that we are now going to go into the secret room inside the Black Ant Hill. Oh, this is going to be a whole project on its own. Just getting this fixed up. I keep forgetting about it. And oh, I currently have the, the repair tool equipped. That's why it's showing me all the what's in red. And I only came back here to empty out inventory because all we need for this run is me, myself and us. I'm referring to us as in you, the watcher and me. I, I'm not referring to like me as in plural. I just want to clarify that. I'm not insane, I swear. Boop, 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 boop. I wish right now I had that glitch going on where nothing wanted to attack me because I am running past every single enemy in the game right now. I feel like I'm usually pretty successful running through the haze without attracting any attention. But not today! Look at that. Eight out of eight. Oh, I said... Wait a minute. Wait, there were eight? Did I do eight? Ah, okay, I wasn't thinking about this one right here. Yeah, so I did do five. Okay, five in the lower ones, which I should have known that because I did them all in one video and then three of the upper ones. But anyways, we did eight out of eight. Thought it was seven. My bad. It is eight. Now we can open this door and voila! Oh, look at all this good stuff. Supreme, supreme. Sturdy, sturdy, whatever. Lint, lint, that's cool for us. Whatever, stuff's easy to get. We're here for the supreme. But yeah, so that's awesome that we've gotten this. Now, yeah, I'm just going to take one. Why did I do that? Uh, so, oh, statue! Yogurt statue. That should technically be the last one, but I don't think I ever went back and got those other two that I talked about. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, okay, so there's two statues I did not grab. I want to go grab those real quick because I know exactly where they are. I don't know why I gr didn't grab them. I feel like I actually talked about this. Oh, you know what? I should be able to get my last quest. Wait, what? Oh, I hit the wrong button. I rerolled this, which is fine. Kill three black soldier ants, whatever that's, you know. There we go, 100th quest, which is to kill the infected brute mother. And something else that I have to do now is get this supply back up as well as getting as much of the ash walls I can have available to me to be built. I don't know why I worded it that way. That was definitely a weird way to say everything I just said. What I was trying to say is the ash cement. I need to get as much ash cement as I can get. Cement, ash cement, ash cement, ash cement, ash cement. It's not important. It is important, but not saying it. Saying it is not important. Leave me alone. Wait a minute. Wendell's not even stuck in the lab. He's just stuck in a corner. What is happening with you, dude? Oh, oh, there's a follow me button. I don't want to do it because I'm afraid there's not a, hey, sit here and wait on me button. So, ah, what do you know? Wait, I don't want to talk to you. Oop, wrong one. So we're just going to leave Wendell there. Uh, now that I know I can make him follow me, that's good. I'm not too worried about um, not being able to do the job of Mac before I fight. What is your name? Director Schmechter. Wait, where is this thing? There you are. But that's where the Moldork statue's at. And the last one we haven't gotten is in here, which is the Wendell statue. No, I have the Wendell statue. What am I missing? The Mant statue. It should be in here somewhere. Ah, Mant figurine. So that is all the figurines. That gives us Rascal Rogue level three. There it is on the screen right now. I said it and it appeared. Ah, okay. I just remembered why I never got those two figurines. I did the a video where I cleaned up the upper yard. That was before I did the under shed. And so I wasn't able to get to either of those two figurines because I didn't have window unlocked. But there's one more thing I want to do before I hop off here. It's uh, something that I have passed a few times recently and then just haven't done it yet. Oh, go the other way, please. 
I keep finding random bits around the base still from where everything was destroyed by those wasps. Which is only fair. I really did like postpone that raid for so long and I did it so well. Haha, -ha, it still stands. Wait a minute. Leave me alone. Forgot I need to grasp planks for what I'm trying to do here. Unfortunately, you can no longer build off of this thing. You used to be able to just build straight from here to across to that side. And so it's now forcing me to build this way. I need more grass planks. I'm so happy I can jump with all this weight on my shoulder. Y'all experience this? Whenever you rotate it, you end up dropping planks now or whatever you're carrying. Anyways, I only built up to here because I want to use the rest of my planks. No. That was like a lot of screams. That, that right there is the whole reason I came up here. Every time I'd walk past this paint bucket and got close enough to it, it would go off. And I think this is like the last bit of raw science on the map I haven't gotten. 100? What? You have to build up to this? That couldn't be worth at least 500? Okay. So we set out to do the mixers, the super mixers specifically, all three of them. We did all three of those. So that is marvelous. Uh, and then we did some extra stuff. We did the last two statues. Then we grabbed that last bit of raw science, which I'm assuming is the last bit of raw science that I have yet to have collected until now, uh, because I don't see the scabby ever go off again in any other location except for that one. Also, while I was doing the mixers, I realized that the scabbies no longer go off when you're in range of the mixers. So that's pretty cool. That's kind of a nice change because it was a little bit irritating when you're not ready to do the mixers and every time you get within range of it, your scabby goes off like, oh, there's raw science nearby. Psych, it's a mixer, which eventually becomes raw science. So between now and next time, what I'm gonna do is try and farm up a bunch of, much more mushroom bricks since I went through a lot of them. Also, I'm gonna repair the space. That is gonna get repaired. And I think I might just go ahead and start on it right now. And also while I am editing this one, I'm gonna try and pay close attention to how I got that glitch to happen to see if I can recreate it. Cause I feel like that'd be something really cool. Not that I would utilize it too much, but I would definitely show it off. Oh my God, there's so much damage. I don't even think I'm gonna repair everything before this breaks again. I just repaired it and we're already more than halfway dead. Oh, look at all of it. So yeah, so if I figure out that glitch, look forward to a video on that one. I'll be showing everybody how to do it. And then it'll be patched, of course. And if you've ever, ex ah, God, it broke. Oh, and then I punched it. That's the opposite of what's supposed to happen. <sighs> But if you have ever experienced the glitch yourself, yeah, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what was happening at the time. Maybe something lines up that'll make it be recreatable. We're actually going to upgrade this. I have to make mighty jewels. I have to make mighty jewels. I have to make mighty jewels. Really, I just need to make one mighty jewel. Anyways, I feel like I've just been rambling on. I've got a lot to do here. This is pretty upsetting. I wish that didn't happen. I was doing so well. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this, please consider subscribing. That would be amazing, and I would love you forever and ever and ever and ever. You can also like this video. That really helps me out. Share it around with uh, people you think would enjoy it. And while I sit here and stare at this baking queue to finish up that very first baking jewel so I can upgrade it and not have to worry about repairing it because it'll just be repaired once I upgrade it, I will go ahead and say salutations. Thank you again for watching. Thank you for your support. Until next time, I'll see you. Ha ha.